Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to give you a quick update on Camber Energy, ticker symbol CEI. I wanted to break down the charts for you and go over some support resistance levels and some other indicators as well, just to help those of you out who are either in the stock or looking to uh, potentially enter or thinking about taking profit. So just to reiterate, guys, not a financial advisor, make sure that you do your own research. Also, if you find value in the video today, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, and hit the notification bell. That way, YouTube can let you know whenever we release new content. So let's dive into it. Guys, we talked about Camber Energy was due for a pullback. Anytime you have a massive run like this stock has had, and you hit new all-time highs for that particular time period, it's just, uh, just natural that it's going to pull back, right? Unless it busts through that resistance and keeps going. Uh, things happen to where you know people start making decisions on okay it's not moving and start taking profit stop loss starts hitting in and the price will start coming down and down and down um, the key thing here to watch in my opinion is this level of support right here of three dollars and twelve cents if we do get closer to that 312 if we get just around there and bounce off then you could see another strong move back to the upside if we get below that 312 just keep in mind that we have a high risk of uh, continuing to come down <clears throat> back into the twos even about the 259 260 level uh, currently we did again this is why i called for a pullback because we were overvalued on the charts and now we're closer to fair value and we did cross over from uh, bullish to bearish okay we're in a bearish pattern right now but it doesn't mean that we can't come out swinging on Friday morning uh, even on pre-market and just start pushing up aggressively and change right back from bearish to bullish okay so just wanted to show you so currently 312 is your support 378 is your resistance if we bust above that 378 that's going to act as support then your next leg up is going to be 485 to bust through there to try to get to five dollars if we break below that 312, you're looking at 259 as your next level of support from there. So if you look at this, guys, this is way, way above that red SMA line that we talk about. So even if we do have a, a strong pullback to 259 or below, you're still going to potentially be uh, trading below, I'm mean, sorry, above that SMA line to where it could bounce up and continue to move. As you see here, that SMA line is roughly at about $1.21. Uh, so it can pull back very, very aggressively and still make a move back towards that upside. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens with this one today. Still a lot of buzz online from this stock. Uh, I currently didn't get in this stock for that reason because I saw it late running up and didn't feel comfortable getting in here. And I'm glad I didn't because it pulled right back down. Key thing is, is to try to get in either on the first wave here or the second wave here and then sell right at the top on the third so anyway guys hope this helped let me know what your thoughts are on this stock below in the comment section other than that we'll catch you in the next one all right guys that's all i have for you in this video make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video and if you enjoy our content of course subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell that way youtube can let you know every time we release new content other than that guys we'll catch you in the next video